Rick Shields is a huge media influencer with a huge following on social media. He's also one heck of a golfer and an accomplished coach. Rick is also an amazing father and an all-around nice guy and has a net worth that will blow your mind. Once, Rick used his status to raise over $18,000 for prostate cancer and he didn't stop there. Want to find out more about this professional golfer and British YouTuber? Keep watching till the end. Unlike most golfers, Rick was introduced to the game early. He started playing the game at Hart Common Golf Club in West Houghton at the age of 10. He was born in Bolton, England in 1986, and he credits his interest in golf to his mom, Lynn Shields. According to Rick, Lynn got into golf much later in her life and always dragged Rick to the driving range even when he didn't want to be there. It wasn't his fault, Rick had his eyes on another sport, football. When Lynn started taking golf lessons, she ensured that Rick followed her to the driving range, and she would always tell him to enjoy himself. But little Rick didn't develop an interest in the game and never enjoyed himself till he hit one shot that made him feel good. After that magical moment, Rick asked to tag along the next time Lynn would go for her golf lessons. Rick and his mother Lynn ventured into the sport, with Lynn going on to become a lady captain while Rick grew to be a junior captain. Rick would later recall that he cherished the responsibility that golf gave him. Rick and his mother visited the famous old golf course St. Andrews, and his journey as a golfer began. There's this thing with golf that only golfers can relate to. Once you start having fun, it hooks you and never lets you go. It's somewhat magical. With over 2.5 million subscribers across two channels on YouTube, Rick Shields is one of the biggest YouTube golfers. Rick isn't just another wannabe golfer on YouTube. He earned a diploma in golf studies at the Myerscough College in Lancashire, England. Recalling when he was faced with making a decision on whether to coach or play, Rick said, After I became a member of the club, it was then I realized I had the talent and had to work hard to do it better. However, the time came when I just had to make a decision about my future. I certainly wanted to be involved in golf, either as a coach or a player. Instead of playing competitive golf, Rick decided to work as a coach at the Mere Golf and Country Club in Cheshire, England. He later worked at Trafford Golf Center before he started his YouTube channel in 2011. Most of Rick's filming for his YouTube channel took place while he worked at Trafford Golf Center. Rick is impacting the sport in a way most professional golfers can. In 2019, Rick Shields made waves when his channel became the biggest golf channel on YouTube, with over 560,000 subscribers. Later in 2020, he became the first golf blogger with over a million subscribers. Rick started his YouTube channel to gain more customers while working at the Trafford Golf Center. He posted various videos related to golf and has achieved great success since then. His most watched video, Cheating at Golf with Illegal Clubs and Ball, has amassed over 5 million views. His channel Rick Shields Golf has amassed over a half a billion views, almost 587 million to be more exact. Despite having almost 3 million subscribers on YouTube and managing a podcast, Rick is not just a father but a loving husband. The 37-year-old British YouTuber is married to Claire Shields, and they got married on March 30, 2013. The duo welcomed their first baby named Ivy, and two years later, Pearl came before Jude. Rick spoke about his children and how his approach to golf has influenced his parenting skills. Rick feels he can be more patient with his kids, but he pushes them hard because, like any parent, he wants the best for them. In January 2017, Rick and his family had to endure a pretty tough life after a fire accident at their home. They fled their home in Bolton, and despite the accident, Rick handled the situation. The YouTube sensation has also confessed that although he would love to see his children go into golf, he'll be happy if they don't and would prefer to do something else. All his kids have some interest in the sport. His eldest daughter Ivy plays the sport most of the time, so she can spend some time with her father. However, his remaining two kids seem to have a genuine interest in the sport, whether he's around or not. Most parents don't want their kids to fail if they can help, but we all learn from our mistakes and become successful by not repeating them. Rick Shields has failed before in his life, and he attributes his biggest failure as the catalyst that catapulted him into the position of success. Rick admits that his biggest failure was never being good enough in school. He always struggled through exams and barely managed to make it to college. He never enjoyed learning and has always felt that he never had any opportunities from an academic standpoint. He failed important exams that could have taken him places or helped him get into a better position. Rick never let his failures define him. Rick told himself early on that as long as he could find a job where he never had to write, he'll be fine. Thanks to golf, he's never had to work a job where he has to write. Rick recalled the moments. I always remember thinking to myself, if I can get a job, I don't have to write. I think I'll do just fine. 
Rick Shields is definitely not a stranger to fundraising. With his traction and influence, Rick helped to start a trend that became a mainstay in the internet golfing world. In 2019, he helped to host the first ever YouTube Golf Day. The event, held at Formby Hall Golf Resort and Spa in the UK, helped to raise 15,000 pounds, about $18,000 for prostate cancer. Rick had this to say, Prostate cancer is very common in men, especially in golf, so it's necessary to create an awareness of the risk of the disease. Since then, Rick has earned a regular spot on Golf Monthly's Top 50 Golf Coaches. He has also been featured on Golf Monthly's magazine front cover and YouTube channel. YouTube Golf Day is not the only event Shields has engaged in for charity purposes. During the COVID-19 lockdown, Shields walked roughly 4 miles almost daily, which is about 18 holes carrying his golf clubs on his back. He did this to raise awareness and money for Mind Charity. Rick would do something different every day of the week, like wearing a fancy dress or walking with his family or fellow YouTube friends. He ended up raising 50,000 pounds, about $60,000 for the charity. Rick Shields Golf is dedicated to entertaining and educating golfers worldwide. At the same time, the Rick Shields Golf Show has videos of the Rick Shields Golf Show podcast. Rick hosts the podcast alongside Guy Charnick, they delve into big talking points and tour news on the podcast. The CEO of the proposed Premier Golf League, Andy Gardner, has been introduced on the podcast. Bryson DeChambeau has also been introduced on the podcast. On Rick Shields Golf, Rick shares in-depth interviews on golf equipment and various golf courses. A running joke among his viewers is cutting a golf ball in half. Rick's videos on YouTube did wonders for his job. He recalled his experience. I became one of the busiest golf coaches in the world. I was booked up for about seven weeks in advance and people were flying in from Europe and the States to have lessons. However, this career path in golf is not without a hitch either. Rick recalls a time in 2010 when he was still a golf coach. He had just turned pro and was coaching at the Trafford Golf Center. The center was taken over and the driving range was shut down. Rick went from zero to nothing in a twinkle of an eye, from being too busy to getting shut down in a matter of days. Rick was saving for his wedding at the time and had to go home to his fiancée to tell her that he had lost his job. What would you have done if you found yourself in such a situation? Tell us in the comment section. The next morning, with the help of his soon-to-be wife, Claire, a schoolteacher, he drafted a cover letter and CV, printed 30 copies, and drove around the city submitting his application to every place where he could coach golf. His plan turned out to be great, and he was offered eight different jobs. About a week later, the driving range got sold to someone else and Rick got his job back. But the experience showed him that regardless of the situation, he's never going to lie down and let things be as they are. From being almost out of a job, Rick opened a YouTube channel the following year and it grew to over 2 million subscribers. Rick enjoyed success with his channel so much that he began working with large brands like Nike, MasterCard, and Garmin. His sponsorship with Nike started in 2017, but had to come to an end in 2021. Nike was Shield's biggest sponsor for over four years. When the initial contract ended, the company